Good afternoon everybody, how are you? Welcome to Craft Stash Live. This is an extremely exciting day for us here at Craft Stash because we have, I'd say is one of our own, our very own Katie Skilton is launching her own brand and we are thrilled. It's absolutely beautiful and it's actually very much as I'd expect to see from Katie. Now, if I'm sure you've come across Katie before in the magazines, on TV, working previously for other really big brands as well, um, but to have her own with her own name on must be absolutely amazing for her. So if you've seen Katie before, you'll know the sort of style we're looking at. Um, we'll go and have a look at the products in a moment, but we do have amazing offers and deals. Now, the, uh, the lowest price item in this collection is only $6.99. In fact, everything's a really good price. So if you've got a small budget this month, this is going to be perfect. It's a lovely little collection where you've got a little bit of everything. When I say little, I mean as in a f only a few items you need to buy. The actual product is a really good size. Katie's going to show you all of that anyway, and she's got some lovely demos to show you as well. I love her clean style. It's really, really beautiful. Very, very different to anything that I would do with lots of messy ink and things. So if that's your style, definitely stay tuned. Now we do have a giveaway as well as always. Um, please make sure you're commenting below. All we'd like to see is a comment on how much you love Katie's new collection. What do you love about it? What's your favourite item there, uh, what you're throwing in your basket, that sort of thing. What we'll do is we will give you, uh, we'll give people 24 hours and then we'll go and pick a winner and we'll contact you afterwards if you are our winner. We'll do a little announcement. Um, I just need to say as well, after this live, please make sure you find Katie over on socials. I know she's just set up a new YouTube channel uh, and she's really going to start pushing things on social so you can see loads of gorgeous inspiration from her. So make a little mental note to go and check her out on all of the platforms after Afterwards. So I think we need to come to the lady herself. Let's come along to Katie. Hello, my lovely. Hello. I have to Hi. say, I have to say, I love that. Is it a top or a dress? No, it's a top. It's beautiful on you, perfectly. Yeah. It matches your lipstick and everything. <laughs> How are you? I'm really good, really good, really excited. I bet you are. Watching my own brand. This has been a little while coming, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, so it's been work in progress for quite some time. So I've been sitting on the little secret and fevering away behind the scenes. But yeah, I'm really excited. And it's really nice to have a chance to do my style, you know, bring out. We've all got that one style, haven't we? And yes. It's really nice to know a product that I can play with that is my own style. It's all you. Yeah, no, brilliant. So um, for people who haven't come across you before, can you just give us a little overview where they may have seen you? I know I kind of did that, but not in detail. Where they may have seen you before. So I have been in the industry about 12 years maybe a little bit more um so i've worked some of the really big brands mm -hmm. so i worked originally for with do crafts and um, then i worked with Sizzix for several years yes. i've said tv with them so that's probably where you would have seen me um and then i came over to this side <laughs> I've been here for two and a half years now so i've done lots of work and i've also done lots of freelance work with industry yes. and just working with product and you know making inspiration um but I probably specialise in dyes, I would say, more than anything. You know, I've worked with sub dye dyes. Um, yeah, so I, th I suppose that's what Sizzix are known for. Yes. So that's definitely your background. Yeah. Um, just... Um, just think so you're with craft stash at the moment this i know i know all this but so people don't wonder where you've been the last few years you're with craft stash now but what have you been doing behind the scenes in craft stash? Yeah, so i actually am the government manager of practical publishing so all those gifts you see on those magazines i piece them all together so there i go, go from concepts to design obviously the design to kind of pulling them all together doing the inspiration from them so although Brilliant. you have see me as much anymore i am in the background that's what yeah i thought i know we you've not been hiding away we oh. know i know you've been very busy probably busier than you've ever been I've so been, yeah. yeah and still within the craft industry so it's great to really for other people when they pick up those magazines in uh, the shops to know that the face behind who sort of got that yeah. there really brilliant yeah, and it's really you know it's good because obviously i bring my experience in mm -hmm. and we you know try new things and new concepts um but now it's really nice to go back to also doing the making side of it more yeah absolutely um so uh, let's jump straight into this new collection so the brand people have probably seen the logo there above me um the brand my creative life it's perfect for you isn't it that's yes. what life's all yeah, been about exactly. my life is one big creative <laughs> 
Yes. I was going to say, <laughs> should we say, is she going to say mess? She yeah, is. Yeah. We all feel like that at you times. Know, my life is creative. Wherever I go, whatever I do, there's always that creative thing going on in the background. So I named it my creative life. Perfect. It is perfect. So can we have a little preview? What are we looking at in your new launch? So this is my first collection and this is called Gorgeous Girls. Mm -hmm. This is obviously very feminine. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up the die sets, but I've also die cut them for you. So this is the first collection and this is called All Dressed Up. Love it. Absolutely love it. With kind of holding on to flowers and presents and books. Um, and obviously they can all kind of be mixed and matched. But I wanted to give them a kind of a modern twist to them. So they've got boots and they've got short skirts and they've got trousers. Oh, do you know They're what? Oh, like... this is just like bringing my childhood in. I used to get those paper dolls paper that dolls. you attach the clothing to. Oh, this is just so much. Not only is it creative, you're making beautiful cards, modern, contemporary, um, grown up cards or, or other projects as well, but having fun with it as well. Thing. So you've got all these flowers. Obviously, you can use the flowers on their own. You know, yeah. we all use flowers and if you can do the flowers on their own, but you can start piecing it together. So she can be wearing jeans or she can be wearing a skirt. She can be wearing cute ballet shoes or big, chunky boots. Yeah, yeah. And then she can be holding on to all these different things. Oh, I love um, it. So you can kind of personalise it a little bit for who you're sending it to. Oh, I, I, I'm blown away. I mean, I know I've seen the product, pictures of the product, but I didn't know quite how it worked until you just explained it. That is so much yeah. fun. Okay. So then we've got the gift of giving die set. So rather than having an actual person, this is their hands. And this oh. is them holding on to balloons and cake and flowers. And Love again, it. you can mix and match all of these. So if I hold up this, that shows you. So you've got your balloons, the cake. And I see. That make the bouquet. And these different hands will hold the various things. So you've paper pieced everything there. Does that take long to do? Um, no, it's quite quick. It's only tiny little bits that you need to cut off. This one is actually inked. So that's like a stencil on the die. So you just ah, ink through the die. Perfect. No so time. I love of, those flowers. Sorry. You can kind of do either way with them. Some of them you can ink through the die. Some of them, if you want to, you can paper piece for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're very small cut lines. So it's not like you're doing intricate cuts. You're just snipping little bits off. Love it. Then the final die set is the diorama frame. So this is this one here. And that comes with lots of sentiments, really nice hand lettered. Like them, yeah, love them. Frame there. Um, and this is made so that the lady fits inside it. And when you see the inspiration, it'll kind of make more sense as yes. to how that all works. Of course, absolutely. So I know you've done some amazing demo videos, so I can't wait to see those. Yeah, so it's been such fun making them. So then we've got two stamp sets. We've got a beautiful sentiments and a fabulous sentiments. So these all work with the gorgeous girls and some of them work with them so we've got kind of cake themed ones when she's holding a cake of course and that's a bunch when she's holding a bunch of flowers um but then we've kind of got fun ones like born to be fabulous dream with ambition lead with conviction kind of they're all, all um they're all very modern fonts i really like that um yeah. and the with mixed fonts thing, kind of a mix of fonts but they're kind of positive so we've got stay positive today is the day follow your dreams celebrating style so they all work with the dyes basically. beautiful amazing i can see me using those an awful lot i can't yeah. wait to get my There's hands on these you could go back to and use with all sorts of collections as well so then finally i've got a paper pad so this is a five by seven paper pad this is the front of it so you've got kind of florals and then an animal print there and then some almost like a topper sheet oh. some of them i've used them all so i've only got strips left <laughs> but i'll hold them up um so we've got the daisy one and then a spotty yellow. Love it. We've got a very... <gasps> that, oh, wow. That is me. Love that. <laughs> and another one. And that as well. Oh, no. What are you doing to me? I'm going to need all of these. This leopard print one. I've only got that bit left. Have you? Is that it? <laughs> it is very you, though. Very you. <laughs> I, I know. Everyone says that. I've always been in leopard print lately. And everyone's... Oh. It's to match your Oh, the look at that. toppers that you can use keep growing oh they are absolutely fabulous for um scrapbooking as well because you could quite easily use these dyes for scrapbooking of course um, do you know what they look a perfect size for maybe if you're not in the uk and you do your smaller sizes like a2 over there they so look, all yeah. this has kind of been designed to use on a2 cards as well as your standard you know what we use more over here in the uk we do bigger cards but they will be decided that they will fit on a2 excellent cards. Fabulous. Uh, well so planned. that's kind of been thought about. So they've been mixed and matched. Wonderful. 
Thank you so much for uh, that little overview. I love them. Um, that's everything in collection. You can buy everything as a bundle and you can buy everything individually as well. Katie, let's go straight to one of your demonstrations, shall we? And then um, we'll come back and have a little chat after that. Thanks, Lou. So for the first demonstration today, we're going to be looking at the All Dressed Up um, die set with some of the papers and I'm going to use um, some of the stamps of sentiments and we're going to create this kind of fun, very clean and simple heart card. And I'm going to be using some of the Creative Craft product um, hearts to go with that. So what we will do, we will start by taking the card blank. So I've already die cut all the pieces just to make it easier here. So we're going to take, actually I'll show you the die. So these are the pieces that we're going to be using today. So they're all pre die cut to save you watching me die cut more. But I'm going to start by just taking my heart. So what I've done, I've cut the heart from patterned paper and I've also cut it from white cardstock. And that's basically because I want to add 3D foam pads to it. It just gives it that little bit of bulk so that it sits there nicely when it comes to sticking them together. So we'll join these together. Just going to give us that nice solid heart. If we pop these together, we can then have a look and see where it's going to sit on the card. So that's your heart, and you can see that that's kind of going to sit here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of the stamps. So, I'm using the fabulous sentiment stamp set, and I'm going to use the birthday wishes stamp set from this one. So, I'm going to grab my stamping platform. card blank in and I'm just going to position the stamp where I want it to sit once the heart's been stuck down. So I'm going to want it a bit there. So we'll take away the heart, stamp our sentiment on. did with its stamping platforms it makes life so much easier when it comes to lining up sentiments and things so we've now got our sentiment so we can now pop our heart on so I'm going to take the heart and I'm going to pop this here so I'm just going to grab some foam pads pop those onto the heart Just adds a bit of nice bit of dimension. Obviously, if you're sending it and you want to keep it flat, you can do that. So we'll pop the heart into the centre. So now we're going to need to piece together the lady. So I'm going to take my other die cuts and I'm going to start to piece her together. So you can see you've got all the elements here. So I've got the legs here. I'm going to start by joining the trousers onto the legs. And for this one, I'm going to give her some funky boots. So I need to just go slightly under the trousers. So let me just lift up the base of the trousers. So she's got some nice sparkly boots. So what we can do, once we've done her legs, I suggest adding it onto the card blank because then you can see how the rest of it's kind of going to be built together. So we'll take the card blank I will pop her legs here and I've got one of the presents here but we're going to layer that together so that's kind of like a perfect um, position. And I'm going to take some really small foam pads now and I'm just going to add some tiny foam pads onto her feet so that she sits in line with that heart, that um, three-dimensional heart. And we will add the legs to the heart. So that's going to give us the positioning for everything else now. So what we're going to do now, we need to piece together the present. So I'm going to pop that to the side and I'm going to take in all of these different layers. 
So I'm going to start by kind of cutting them up and adding in the various layers to make it them all different colours. So I'm going to use this one as my base and then the next one we're going to use is this grey. So I'm going to cut that base off of there like so. And we're going to pop that one on there. Just start to layer those together. So the next one is going to be this one. So again, I'm going to trim. Now, obviously, keep hold of all these because you can use them again and attach different elements to them. Um, sorry, different layers to them when it comes to doing another one. Pop that one on top. And finally, we've got the pink one. off this one and add it on. Now you'll notice that on the packaging you've got all this detail here so we're going to add in that detail so I'm just going to do that using a white pen. So I'm going to take my die and I'm going to place the die cut back into the die. And then I'm going to take my white gel pen, which I seem to have lost. Here it is. I'm going to start to add in those details back in. So you could use any colour you wanted to. I quite like the white against the pastels. But it's entirely up to you. You could just add a little bit of sparkle if you wanted to take. I'm also going to do these stars down at the base. So just following those holes all around. Then when we pop that out, you now have all that detail in there. So what I want to do, I want to add the bow on. So I've cut the bow from rose gold cardstock and I'm just going to trim that down the little score line that's there. We're just going to oh, cut and I'm just following that line. It's quite a simple cut. It's nothing too complicated and we can add that one on just to give it a little bit of sparkle. So now we have our little pile of presents and we can add those onto our lady. So we'll pop these here like so, but we do need to give her some arms. So I've got the arms here that I've pre-die cut. So it's just kind of figuring out where her arms go. So I would have one coming out of here, and then one coming from the same spot, with a slightly longer arm. So you get a variety of arms, you get four different arms, so you can kind of mix and match them if you like, depending on what she's holding on to, the arms would be slightly different. We can pop that onto there. So I'm going to pop that on using a thumb pad. Again, just to give it some dimension. We'll pop that one on like so. Now I'm just going to add a little floral element to this. So what I have done is I've die cut a leaf, a flower and the centre of the flower. And we're just going to pop that on. So we'll add the little flower. I'll add that onto the side of the present. Now it really helps for some reason this green that I'm using um, it just helps all those pastels pop. I think it's slightly darker shade and it just kind of really finishes it off. So I'm just rounding the leaf with my nails and I'm just going to pop that one 
come in from behind. Actually, I'm going to make that slightly shorter as well. We'll just have that one trailing down. So it's a very kind of quick, simple card to make, but I do like them when they're just clean and simple. So that is the first demo, and obviously I've got plenty more to share with you. That's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I love, love, love that card. That is uh, phenomenal. I can't keep things that clean and tidy when I'm crafting, but I really love to watch people do it themselves. Um, let's come back to Katie and have a look. Katie, um, I believe you've got that card yeah. there. Yeah. Look at that in detail. That is stunning. The dimension you can get with all the foam that you can put on. I can see why you don't have much of the leopard print left. I know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we need to get you some more of those, I think, because I can see you yeah. making amazing products. Those, yeah. sorry, go on. But it's just, it's nice because absolutely, the girl is the main element, isn't yeah. it? And then it's just a die cut heart. So this is just one of the creative craft product hearts. So watching that demo, you've broken it down to make it look so, so simple. But if I saw this card in a shop, in one of the little boutique independent shops, I'd expect to pay four, five, six pounds yeah, for that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but you've just made it super simple for us. I love it. Um, now, I'm going to just give a little bit of a recap very quickly. So as you can see here, we have got prices with Katie Skilton's brand new collection, My Creative Life Gorgeous Girls, just launched today on Craft Stash, exclusive to Craft Stash. You can't get it anywhere else. We are so honored that Katie, who's been a huge name in the crafting industry, for years she's worked for the likes of a do product uh, i was gonna say do crafts but they're now known as um is it west design i believe you may have heard of them of you'd have seen their products paper mania things like that she worked for them she worked for sizzix she's now been working with craft stash for the last few years and finally after lots and lots of uh testing and trialing out designs and getting things perfect she has her own collection i'm buzzing for her i know you're going to love it the items from as little as 6.99 if you're loving that paper pack with the little sort of ephemera that you can cut out as well 6.99 for that we do have bundle offers as well you can see everything on the website at craft stash here um please do check them out please do wait for the end of the live first though because it'd be nice if you see the demonstrations first but um be quick because i don't know how long these are going to hang around for now we do have a giveaway as well um, the giveaway is for one of the collections coming out to one of you watching uh, all I'd like you to do is comment and let us know what you think of Katie's new collection uh, what your favorite product is things like that um, you can pop a couple of comments in there maybe split it up might have more chance of me uh, seeing them I'm gonna come back in 24 hours though uh, because Katie and I are at head office today we're super busy so we're gonna come back in 24 hours and check out everything and you know what it means when we up at head office that means more designs coming your way so yeah really really busy with things like that so shall we have a look at Katie I'm going to come to the next video can you tell us a little bit about this next card yeah. demonstration so this one is using the gift of giving die set so this is instead of having the whole lady this is all about her hands now <laughs> all about the hands <laughs> i'm sure it'll be amazing let's take a look at it now so for my second demonstration i'm going to show you this cake card so this is made using the gift of giving die set and also the beautiful sentiments stamp set so let's get making on that one so what i've done i've taken a card blank so this is just an a6 card blank you could also use a2 with this one um, and all these dies have been designed so that you can use them with A2 or A6 cards. Um, you know, they're small enough that if you want to make big cards, you can. But equally, you can pop them onto smaller cards. Let me find another glue here. So I've just taken some of the patterned papers. And I'm going to layer the patterned paper just onto a piece of like, coordinating cardstock. So I'll pop that one down. And then I can add this one to my card blank. And then we can have a look at how we piece together the dies. Pop that one onto my card blank. And I'm just going to pop that to the side for a second. So what I've done, I've pre-die cut all the dies that I need. So these are all the dies that I need. Um, they're just some circle dies. And these are from the gift of giving die set. So I've not cut them all because what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to trim them down a little bit. So this bright yellow one, I'm going to just cut off the plate. Um, for this so I'm just going to follow the line around where it die cuts and trim that one off so that one can now be stuck to this one so we'll pop that one on 
I'm just going to add that one on to there. And then I'm going to also just cut the bunting off. So I've just cut the little bits of bunting here. And I'm going to trim those. There. You can add these on. A tiny bit of glue. I'm going to pop that on there. So what I've also done is die cut the hand. So I'm just going to move these out of the way for a second. Now this one, I'm going to pop back into the die. So I'm just going to take my die. I'm just going to get that bit of paper out. So I'm going to take my die. I'm going to place this die cut back into the die. Like so. Pop that down. So then I'm just going to take my Distress Oxide. I'm just going to grab a... Just need to find a blue one, bear with me. And I'm going to add the ink to detail back in. So I'm just going to use the die as a stencil and add that detail onto the die cut. When I take that away now, we've got all the detail on there. So, so you can see now you've added the detail just using your ink. So I'm going to pop that to the side and I'm going to do exactly the same with the hand. So I'm going to grab my hand die, pop this one back inside. And that is going to add your nail detail to it. So when I pop that out, you will see that you have now got the nail detail all on your hand. Let's move this out of the way. So we can start to add this to our card blank. So I'm going to take the cake, kind of pop it where I want it to go, and then we'll attach the hand to the cake. I'm just going to pop that one on there. And I'll leave that one for a second. And then I've got two circle dies here. So we've got this one and this one. I'm going to grab my stamping platform. So I'm going to use the Your Big Day with Cake stamp. So this is from the Beautiful Sentiments A6 stamp set. I'm just going to position that where I want it to stamp. So I'm just going to add a little bit more ink to that, just give it a second go. There we go. So then I've got my sentiments. So I'm just going to layer these up now. Add this one onto here. And then I can add all of this onto the card. So I'm just going to position it so that this is slightly overlapping the sentiment. So we'll pop that one down first. down over the top 
and then just got some sequins here so just got some gold sequins in a little bag i'm just going to sprinkle a few of those down i'm just going to embellish it with a couple of sequins just to add a little bit of sparkle really i'll just add them kind of randomly onto the card So there we have another one. So that is made using the Gift of Giving die set and the Beautiful Sentiments stamp set. Again, another phenomenal card. I love, love Katie's clean design. Now, a uh, little story for you, actually. I hadn't thought about this. You know, when you've known someone such a long time, you don't really think back to how you first met. Um, but Katie and I first met when I was, I had to do a screen test for Create and Craft TV and I was actually being screen tested to replace Katie, not because she was losing her job, but if ever she couldn't make TV. So um, I was going to be like her standby. So that's how I got into TV. Katie was already in TV. So we sort of joined similar times, Katie a little bit before me. Um, and yeah, and then we worked together on the, at the time, the Do Crafts team. And we've just known each other for such a long time. We got together at shows and things. That we Sorry, Katie, I'm talking about you as if you're not there. She is still there. She's still sitting there just listening. Yeah, it, I know it's years and years, isn't it? A it long, just, long time. Such a long time ago. I mean, I, if I compare it to, it was when we had tiny children when oh. we first knew each other. Do you know what? I think Oliver, my youngest, who, who's now 14, he would have been about two years old. Yeah something like that so yeah long time we've had some fun we've had some fun trips haven't we as well uh craft shows and things like that um but when did we last sit and have a glass of wine together this evening <laughs> let's do it this evening <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Too, it's been far too long. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that I can launch this with you anyway. So let's get back to what we should be talking about and the collection. So where did the inspiration for this collection come from? So I've seen loads of pieces of art with ladies' legs, whole <laughs> flowers and things like that. There's loads of drawings around. And I just thought, you know what, that would be so pretty as a dye range. Yeah. Um, because obviously my mind always goes to die cutting and dyes. But I, I say I wanted her to be modern. I wanted her to, uh, there's quite a lot of old fashioned ones around, like kind of yep. old fashioned ladies holding these things. But I wanted her to be modern. I wanted her to have modern clothes and kind of modern boots and shoes and um, skirts and things. So that's where it came from. And obviously I just love florals, always love to add a little floral into everything. You are, I would say, if I had to guess at what rain, your range would look like, I would say it would have like sort of your itsy ditsy um, florals that you could layer up and paper piece and things like that. And that's what we've got. I love them, but I love the size of them. When you showed, could you, do you mind just holding those boards up very quickly so we can yeah. see them again? For anyone who's just joining, um, we've got three die sets here and Katie's kindly done these fantastic coloured boards for us so we can actually see the size because of course on the packaging they're much smaller. Now look at the size of those foliage, those leaves are beautiful, the flowers as well. You can presumably you can do like shaping those flowers, make them three dimensional, layer them up even more if you want to. Um, these are going to be such fun sets for everyone to use aren't they? I'm, I'm really excited, I'm going to be grabbing yeah so I've done quite a few samples and things you know and I've done lots of videos for my YouTube channel some of the flowers at times I've kept the flowers flat sometimes I've shaped them using tweezers and ball tools and things so there's lots of different ways you amazing can make do different. you actually have any more of the samples there yes, to I've hand got I've got loads of them oh would you like to show us a few now we'll see a few more yes. after the last demo so this is one so this is using the frame you can see how she yes. sits in that yes. frame but I don't know if you can see, but these flowers are all really shaped. I can see, yeah, that looks beautiful. Do you know what, that reminds me, years ago, we used to buy the punches that you then crimped the flowers in yes. and they were, they were expensive yes. tools, weren't they? Were. they? Um, but you can do that now with one die set and it's just brilliant how, how far crafting's come in the years. Yeah. So that's her holding kind of her gift Love and it. sort of flowers. And then we've got her holding her little book and obviously the stamps fit perfectly on that so yep. you can stamp your sentiments onto that um 
That's I've got a shaker card here. Oh, they're so gorgeous, and you've got such a lovely clean style. I know I keep saying it. I am very jealous that you can keep and things then, so nice and clean. You can see what I've used with this leopard print. Like, then I went full out, and this is full on. And full That's where it's gone. <laughs> but I suppose you could do little things, like you could do leopard print tights, couldn't you, if you cut That's the legs right. out? Yeah, you can really kind of mix them up. Yeah. But I've just kind of kept the backgrounds quite simple because I wanted the dyes to almost speak for themselves, if you like. And they do, yeah. they do. They're beautiful, honestly. They are stunning, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Um, should we look at this last demonstration yes. and then we'll come and see uh, any other samples you might have there. So take a look at this, everybody. Uh, these will all be up on YouTube as well, so you can go back and watch them individually at a later date once you receive your collections at home. So last demo, I'm going to look at, going to go back to the gorgeous girls, the all dressed up dice set, and we're going to look at how to create this beautiful bouquet of flowers. So I'm going to start with my card blank. So let's just grab this and I'm just going to layer some turquoise cardstock onto my card blank so you can see I've got a glue issue here so you can see I've kind of gone with have turquoises and yellows for this one and um, there's so many different colorways you can use for these you know you can make them really kind of bright and laid you know girly or you can use these kind of deep colors as well you could even go Christmassy really if you wanted to so I'm just going to add on my white card stock. Pop that onto there, like so. So this is going to give us our base. So what I've done, again, I've pre die cut all of the dies. So all of these are from the All Dressed Up, and then these two are from the Diorama Frame Set. So what we'll start to do, we'll start with her legs. I'm just going to pop together her feet. So I am actually going to cut her feet off. <laughs> and we're just going to pop those so that they kind of come out of the trousers. Just so that she's got her feet just showing at the base there. on so then it's going to give us the position for the rest of it and just pop those about there so what you want to do you don't want to leave too many gaps when you start adding the florals so what I've done I've die cut a variety of kind of sizes of florals I'm just going to start to add them on but I'm going to build them up so I don't really want any gaps showing and um, just because it want you want it to look like she's got like a large bouquet of flowers that she's holding so just overlap them slightly pop that one there so i'm just using 3d foam pads for that and then i'm just going to layer them up on top of that so it just gives it a little bit of dimension So once we've done that, we want to kind of start adding the greenery in, and this is where you really kind of start to build it up now. So I'm just curling the greenery with my nails. I'm just going to place them where I think they will um, work, and then I've got the ability to move them around before I glue any of it down. So just adding some kind of shape to them. If you find they're too long, you can always make them shorter, so just lose a little bit and pop them in like so. So you can see I've cut quite a few of these and I'm just take the stem off that one working out where I want them to sit what I'm going to do actually I'm going to swap that one out with that one I'm just going to leave a gap there because I'm going to pop some of the tur turquoise ones in there in a second swap those around just to make it look a little bit more even this is what I do I kind of play around with it a little bit 
before I stick anything down. Let's make that one a little bit shorter. And then that one can sit in there. So now I know kind of where they're going to go, I can glue them down. So I'm only going to use glue on the little, the bottom part of the leaves. Um, just so that they're not completely stuck down. So, tiny bits of glue. And it just leaves that bottom, the sorry, the top part of the leaves to poke up a bit from the flowers. those out of the way a second sort of know where I'm going with this now so you could of course use all these floral elements without the gorgeous girls as well um, so you can just use them as floral dyes you can never have too many floral dyes so I'll add in the little turquoise parts Let's just get rid of the like a bit. So what I've got now, I've got these berries. And what we're going to do, we're going to use the stems, but I'm going to trim off the heads of them. I'm going to stick those to the actual stems. So you've got a different colour stem. Just gives it a little bit of interest, kind of makes it look more like a bouquet. One. I'm going to do the same with the blue ones. Right, final one. There we go. So let's pop those down. And I'll just get rid of some of this mess that we've got. So we can now pop these into our bouquet. So I think I'll have those going from the top. So a little bit of glue on each of the berries. We'll pop those at the top of the bouquet. So, so that's kind of our girl all put together. So I've got a couple of sequins here. I'm just going to add some centres to the flowers. So there is centres included in the die, so you can add the little circles on if you want to. But for this, I'm just going to use the opportunity to add a little bit of sparkle to it. Now, I wanted to add a little bit of detail, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of cover her up here, and I just want to add, using my puzzle pen, a little bit of ink splatter. So I'm just going to splatter some ink there, just, just to get a little bit deeper. It's quite a plain kind of, you've got quite a blank background there, so I'm just going to add that. Now, what I have done is I've die cut. Hello Beautiful somewhere. What have I done with that? Oh, it's down here. I've... Sorry, I flicked it away when I um, flicked my paper away. So we've got this. So we'll pop this on now as well. So this is from the Diorama die set. And it comes with lots of different sentiments. Let's move that out of the way. Pop the beautiful down. And then we've got 
put the hello so we'll just add on this one and I think I'll just have that one in the gap it just so happens that's where my ink splats have fallen so it gives me a nice kind of gap and I'm just finally going to add a couple more little sequins just dotted around just again to add that little bit of detail so there we have our final card so kind of lots of different colors lots of different styles i've used and it just shows the versatility in it but they're really pretty they are really you know feminine dyes and um, thanks lou over to you so so pretty that com color combination actually has got to be one of my favorites at the minute now yellow yellow or orange was never a color that i went to but i've just seen katie do that amazing card i also actually saw our lovely ruth from craft slash demonstrating on tv this morning and she uh, had a yellow and teal or blue color card and i think actually you know what i think that's one of the color combinations that we're going to be seeing a lot of this year katie's just demonstrated absolutely perfectly uh, those flowers are phenomenal um katie so just let me know how much fun have you had getting this collection together and will we be seeing some more Oh, honestly, I just love it. I could just do it all day, every day, if I was able to. Oh, we'd love you to. All sunny to work. Um, <laughs> but so I've, I've spent every hour. And I, you know when the more you use something, the more ideas you get. Yes. So I finished something. I think, oh, actually, I could have done that. So then I'm back out again, working till like 11, 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> so I'm, I want to get this idea because I can't get it in my head. I can't sleep. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly, that. yeah. Um, let's have a look then. I know you've got a few more cards you'd like to show yeah. us. These will all be photographed and on the Craft Stash website for you. If you want to see uh, quick cards made with each product, if you hover over the item, the uh, photo will pop up. If you click into each item, you'll see underneath the main photo, there's lots of options for you to look at, all different cards. I'm sure, Katie, I can tell you've already done as loads and loads of photos for the website. <laughs> yeah, so these are, this is now all the gift of giving die set. So this is kind of the cake. This is what I was saying. The, Love the, it. The Makes me hungry. There's one in a kind of another colour palette Do you know there. what? That looks sort of almost wedding-like as yes, well. Yes, it does. Mm. And then we've got the balloons. Oh, and there we go, new baby you could use balloons yes, for. Yes, yeah, all sorts of things for there. And then balloons again, but just in a completely different colour palette, which completely changes it, and then into that oh, frame. Um, so and then kind of holding a really full bouquet of flowers there. I love it. I love the colour combinations that you've come up with. You can just tell that you're very experienced in yeah, putting colours so together on the card. I, when I started doing it, I, you know when you try and get some cards, I was like, right, I'm going to do some in this colour and some in that colour. They're very different. So you've got the pinks and the rose gold and yes. very feminine. And then that lovely turquoise and yellow, which I can't stop using for everything. Like, <laughs> everywhere at the moment. Yep. Um, so I just wanted to kind of do two that contrast, but they both work. Yeah, they really work, they really work well together. Well, you I... Could, sorry, you could. If you did these in red and green some, you could make her look quite Christmassy. Do you know what the, the very early yeah January definitely so I mean you, very Christmassy you don't even have to have the lady behind it do you you could just have no. stacks and stacks of presents if you wanted yeah. to you I know. think definitely the florals or the foliage you could use with yeah. red and white flowers yeah and, absolutely and snowy backgrounds or whatever you well done do you know what in the craft industry you know we do Christmas in the summer so I expect in the summer to see lots of Christmas cards from you <laughs> <laughs> add that add that to your to-do list as yeah. well <laughs> katie it's been an absolute pleasure i'm so thrilled that we can, i can launch this with you uh, and i'm really pleased you've got your own collection because you more than deserve it um just um so we're looking at a couple of months aren't we till your next launch i think yeah so there's already i've done worked on quite a few of them now so there are some oh. of the so there will be more collections. So yeah. Exciting, yeah. exciting. So I would say maybe if you're thinking about starting to dip into the My Creative Life brand, start with collection number one because you literally are going to be collecting these, aren't you? Yeah. You know, it's collection yeah. one, collection two. And I'd imagine, knowing how experienced you are, that maybe the collections will work together. With they will. So some of them will mix and match really well. Excellent. So I'm because this is my first one, I can't show you the next ones. But no, as no, no. Long, I'll be able to show you how they all mix and match. Oh together. yeah. 
I can't wait to see them. Well, thank you so much. I think we can call today a successful yeah. launch day. You can celebrate this evening. Um, and I hope to see you some more. Uh, you'll be on Craft Stash, I'm sure, on the website, on the Facebook page. Hopefully, you'll be uh, in the VIP area as well for those members who have signed up to the membership. Um, yeah, I, I know because I'm organising that. I'm getting you in there. <laughs> we want you in there. Um, but also your own socials. Let us have them. What? Where can we find you on social media? Yeah. So I've got my Facebook page, obviously on Facebook. So that's Katie Skilton. Um, I'm on Instagram, Katie Skilton UK. Obviously, I've just launched my YouTube, so it's very new. There's not a lot of content, but I'm now going to be adding content. Of course. Two bits a week. Um, again, Katie Skilton. There we go. Nice and easy to remember. <laughs> Just put UK at the end of the Instagram. One of your grand. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, enjoy reveling this whole new launch feeling because yeah. it's going to get busy now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care, Katie. Thanks so much yeah. for joining us today. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. Bye bye. So there it is. We have launched, officially launched Katie's new brand, My Creative Life, and it's the gorgeous girls. So it's the first collection. And as Katie has confirmed, there will be more as well. So if you're loving this look, definitely grab it. Now you can purchase this, but in Craft Stash, in Craft Stash, at Craft Stash, both in the UK and in the US. If you want to follow the US site, simply take away the .co.uk from this website and add .us at the end. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Like I say, I'm going to leave the competition to win um, one of Katie's collections open for about 24 hours or so. Um, so you can all comment on which is your favorite item, how much you love the collection, send your best wishes and congratulations to Katie as well. Anything like that, I'll randomly do a scroll and pick someone and I will contact you and announce it tomorrow so uh, have fun with that everybody please do pop these into your basket katie is so talented and honestly you'll be holding something that's in a few years going to be worth an absolute fortune if you get her products so i will see you again on friday i have got the lovely christina griffiths launching her card making magic collection and it's a six boxes now this is going to work very well with katie's collection i can actually see the sizes working perfectly together so yeah yeah, stay tuned for that and I'll see you on Friday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.